Yes, coming at you. Okay, what are we here to talk about? Live trading day tomorrow, April Fool's non-farm payroll number. Guess what? You're going to be trick or treated tomorrow, guys. Uh, and you can see it in with us. That's right, the Market Sniper team. We're going to take a look at cryptos, look at Bitcoin being turned back at the 47.5, only a, a significant level for HVF traders. That's right, the neckline, walk like an Egyptian. You see that thing, that key straight horizontal level, neckline, 47.5. We said it would be a little bit of a key level of significance, struggling there, coming back. Markets a little bit risk averse, coming back down, coming back down. Why, 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 why? What are we showing you? Let's have a look at the chart. Let's go straight to the on the charts front turns volume down on mobile device starts hearing own voice gets cranked out um, give us a like straight away by the way please the record low numbers I don't know whether it's the time or whether you guys are all asleep you're not interested in what's going on the major opportunities are about to start coming again you should be getting ready to build wealth right here, right now, and defending it in a place like this where you can incorporate and defend all your precious assets from the overreaching government, state, and stealing, extracting thieves of great notes. Um, what are we looking at? We're looking at a 10-year government bond. Some of you go, oh, boring government bonds. Okay, let's just tell you something. You made a target. You've had an overshoot on your yield. What's happened? This is a significant. You'll hear about it. You can sound smart and impress your friends. Why, why, why? You say, what will I say that will impress my friends? You will say there's been a yield curve inversion and they will go, what? What on earth does that mean, you silly old fool? And you will tell them that you are worldly wise in the, man the way of things. And I will tell you what it means. I will tell you that it means deep, deep trouble. That's right. Those that like the Bart Simpson pattern, they're going to find out why the yield curve uh, inversion means deep, deep trouble. What happens? Yield curve inversion essentially is the yield that we pay on the 10-year debt instrument. In other words, Pension funds get paid a certain amount when they buy government debt. It's all institutional. That's why you don't think it's important because it's not Coca-Cola, Microsoft and equities and Bitcoin and things that you relate to and use yourself. It is a huge market and your pensions are probably stuffed with it unless you've opted out and are self-investing your own personal pensions. So this inversion, what's happened before when we've had inversions? Well, let's have a look what happened last time. There was your inversion. The repo liquidity problems of September, October 2019. And then guess what? Major deflationary event arrived in the new year. January, February, the pharmaceutical event that may not be mentioned. That happened. And guess what? We'll just shut business and we'll create deflation. No more SMEs. Buy everything from Amazon, Tesla, Walmart. Hey, they can all stay open. You know the game. You know how it works. Crush the SMEs. Crush the little people. Long live the oligarchs and the oligopolies. Yes, indeed. So it happened. So it is. So it was. And so the debt reclimbed up. And you have just inverted again. And can I tell you, this time the inversion is an absolute thriller. It's a spiller all the way from Manila. That's right. As sure as this is transgender yellow uh, with a psycho bunny on it, this is a thriller, a spiller and an absolute dump. And it's just run the zero. So it's an even more vigorous sell-off than you had over here. Let's show you. Let's show you on the charts. Show the man on the charts. There we go. There we go. Uh, selling off there. And then from that broadening structure megaphone, Oh boy, the only place to learn about broadening structures, www.themarketsniper.com. Go and check our site out, have a look around, cost nothing to look, and you can book a call and have a chat, also cost nothing to chat. Um, and you can find out why these things are continuation to downsides, when they're not, when there could be reversals, etc., and how we utilize and trade them. So that is your yield curve inversion. This is a big event. By the way, do we have any pictures? Let's see if I have any pictures. Hopefully not nudie ones. Um, let's talk about it. Mm, not the one I wanted. In the Twitter stream, in the Twitter stream. Go and have a look at, if you're not already following, at the Market Sniper on Twitter. Go and follow the yield curve inversions within couple of months, the top of the interest rate tightening cycle occurs. That's right. You just heard me say that. Those same central banking lying cartels, those Goldman Sachs's, those uh, city banks, Bank of America's, that are all telling you, they're all telling you there's eight or nine uh, tightening rate high cycles. There will be four or five double percentage Tightening cycles. Look how strong we are. We've got such a robust economy. Tighten, tighten, must tighten. Guess what? Um, the inversion comes almost within 80%. 
the, that the entire tightening yield of rates is virtually over. You may get one or two more tightens before the interest rate uh, cycle ends and you go crash down, capitulation. Oh dear, another engineered event to kill demand. Because why? Because why? Inflation run away, run away. Jay Powell is walking behind a runaway bullet train. I've said it to you before. He's never catching it. You don't catch 7.8%. By the way, Germany. Germany hit the upper 7%. The last time they hit the upper 7%, do you know what their interest rate is? Was? Was 11%. Do you know what it is today? Naught at the same inflation rate. That, my friends, is called behind the curve. They aren't out in front of this problem. This is like deep, 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 deep behind, touch a wall, touch a wall behind. It is so far behind, you're never coming back. You will never come back from it. It is global stagflation. I bought that URL 15 years ago. I eventually relapsed it uh, about two or three years ago. It's going to come into its own right now. It is in fact hyper stagflation I dare say because your demand is going to be killed it's the only way they're going to deal with this massive inflation they've created they're going to steal your money they're already doing it with the inflation that is taxation global taxation global inflation global taxation your disposable income buys you less stuff that is taxation. And at the same time, the fact that you have to get paid more, paid more, drags you. Tax creep, bracket tax creep takes you into higher, higher taxation. And of course, oil price goes up, food price goes up, wheat goes up, less money for you. You've never felt poorer. There's now two of you working and you can barely make the mortgage. When before, in the good old days, one storeman would earn and pay a house off with a stay-at-home wife and four kids. That is Mike Maloney's dad, who was used as an example not so long ago. Go check out his channel too. Uh, also good stuff. So that is the world we live in. You're being taxed with inflation. They are squeezing your disposable income. They are miles behind it. It's going to stay extremely high. And one of the ways they'll manage that number is by regular deflationary strikes, so they can't handle the inflation, they will kill the demand. Less people will be able to buy new cars, EV cars, car prices are going to go up, lithium is going up, batteries are going up, cobalt is going up, all this rhodium is going up, every base metal is going up, everything you need, rare earth minerals is going up, copper is going up, but they will get occasional strike downs and the time it comes is after a yield curve inversion. That's what you're looking at right here. Look at it, look at it now. It's coming. We are calling for a demand killing event. And the World Economic Forum has already given you a couple of options of how it might take place. They're so good at forecasting, aren't they? Anyway, so that's what you're gonna see. That's what you're gonna learn. What about it? Then we're gonna talk about some currencies. Tomorrow, April Fool's Day, live trading event. Link right now. Uh, uh, uh. You can be part of it. Want to ever have a taste of what it's like to be part of our community? Come on board and have a sesh, an hour and a half of the traditional markets where we talked about the six macro trades. Remember that one from September? We recapped it here. Yes, we did, sir. Uh, we recapped it here and you saw just about every one of them is up, up, up or down, down, down as they should be. Euro down, Euro Swiss franc turning down again. Blah, blah, blah over here. The Euroland is trouble. Rationing of gas. Can you believe it? Oh, we've got moral issues of buying from Russia. Oh, we're so noble. We're such noble people. We cannot buy from these scoundrels. Okay, we'll ration. Isn't that going to be great for economic growth? Guess what? You won't be able to start uh, heating your house in the European zone or the UK. I'm afraid you're going to get dragged into that. Gas is going to become short. Why? Because you're not going to have it. You're going to see what South Africans already know. Why people have diesel, smog, carbon burning generators to replace the failure of state to provide core utilities and as a result of central bank cartel generated inflation that's designed to tax you into absolute misery and existence while they lie about the true inflation which is already deep in double digits that's what's happening right here right now how do you trade it how do you stay in front an absolute slippery pole where every one of us is a chimpanzee going down at a rapid rate of knots you need to learn how to hustle and to climb buddy because 
leaving your money in the bank is certain death. It is dying slowly on the inflation if Klaus doesn't hack it even sooner. You have got to be in asset classes where you are making more than probably a double digit inflation rate, 16%, a guess uh, on shadow stats there or thereabouts for the US. Something similar, probably worse believe me or not, in Euroland, thanks to the energy supply problem uh, that has generated Euro to fall first. The yen has been spilling. That was a huge event recently. The yen, absolute spiller, a thriller. Let's show you that USD JPY, not fully given credit on our six macro trades, um, was the USD JPY absolutely shifting it. And even better, as we highlighted not so long ago, the Aussie JPY. So there is the JPY. A little bit of a localized high, an absolute moon shoot on a smaller HVF. You can see it making targets and overperformance. You would have closed up top here around about 123, but it's part of a big series of up legs. Why? Why, 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 JPY? How you hurt me so bad? Well, the reason will be because high debt nation, terrible age demographics, the long power of the yen, the manufacturing world is over. It's metaverse now. How can you be so stupid to still be a manufacturing economy with a bunch of old people which aren't producing enough? Not enough rumpy pumpy without the jiffy. Oh dear, you Japanese, you're going to have to pay for that squeezy squeezy Japanese. Yes, no population, no new blood, no good demographics, no one to pay for your pensions, stuffed with debt that's paying absolutely garbage yield, and everybody else in the nation state global village is all devaluing their debt. Guess what? Your debt is starting to look kind of expensive, paying garbage yields, as you are going to also import poor Japan, imports every commodity that it needs, doesn't have a thing, tiny little island, little people, little island, where do they get what they need, they've got to bring it in, all those costs through the moon, guess what, absolute deflation in those values in debt, terrible situation for your pension as an uh, aging pensioner, not good for the yen, what does the Bank of Japan do, they buy, they buy their own debt, must consume the puke pies, so that the other people do not have to be sick, oh guess what, a projectile vomit is on the way, currency must go down, that is it, Aussie JPY, JPY, why, why, uh, back the commodities. By the way, I'm not a fan of any fiat. This is not a, a moral case for the Australian dollar or the Canadian, which will also do equally well. We want you long. The big actual commodities themselves, that is where trade. We'll be talking about this and more in the traditional period of the great live uh, trading day that we'll be doing tomorrow. You can buy in one trading day for under $200. It's like buying me a a coffee, a steak, and a beer all at once that I can just consume. Uh, I'd love to have that with you. Come and join us. By the way, if you like a deal, there's three for the price of two. Even better still. Um, links and details below. What about crypto? Bitcoin fixes everything, apparently. So I'm told, so I'm told. Well, it didn't fix the 47 and a half. It's run a little out of steam out there. So is gold and silver looking a little bit out of puff, but that, of course, is a paper market. We all know what we think about that. Let's get in the Bitcoin and let's have a look on a semi-sensible time frame. Uh, lots of lines, lots of lines. There's your 47.5, the neckline. The neckline, it is a clothesline. It's a bit like those traditional rugby tackles of old, round the neck and tipsy toesy. Down you go, Bitcoin, 47.5. But don't worry, I think support will be found. Remember, this is the great inflation. Supposedly, there's only going to be 21 million. And the rate of inflation of Bitcoin is tapering off, tapering off the reduction of uh, issuance of the token. Should be good, should be good. Real physical gold. Something we do, by the way, real partners that do reset and defense planning. You can find out about that more. Go to our website, become a community member, get access to vaulting services where you get buyback at spot and even some of the premium when there's premiums how many of you can say that wow by not a bullion dealer but by a real professional uh, vaulting services with a structure that keeps your metal anonymous that makes it hard for other people to confiscate that has back fallback plans right by an airfield that is in a protected zone a tax-free protected zone you could learn more about this again to the website. Okay, so we will be doing live trading day. Bitcoin, a little bit of a pullback, watch out. Let's have a look at Bitcoin dominance for those that still care for uh, the charts. Slipping a little, the alts have been the stronger. We're in a macro falling wedge. We'll talk more about this and crypto for an hour and a half in our session. 
why the dominance can go a little lower, why the alts will run a little more. We're used to that high beta and that this could be an opportunity to accumulate on a little bit of a retrace pullback. The cryptos have shown their hand. They're responding positively to the inflation. But the big but, the red light that is flashing, yield inversion, event risk not far away. World Economic Forum drilling all sorts of ambushes ready to pull on you to help make you totally reliant on state and your future UBI and full compliance. How can you avoid that? The reset sniper is here and you're looking at him. Okay, we'll talk more on this. Thank you for watching. Um, event is to the right. More of this entertainment in bright luminous shirts and other silly comments and jokes, uh, but even more important, doing what you need to do at the times that it is most essential. You are in reset season, friends, and the hammer is about to fall. Yield curve inversion, you've been warned. Watch out on those risk on trades. Watch out on that leverage. You can be cleared out. Until next time, keep lots of cash, plan to have bullion, and remember, there will be no tightening. Not for much longer anyway. Bye for now.